Okay. And then we come across this. That's the path we were on earlier in the game. Uh, we just have a corpse in the road. And if you look at it, we get the traffic like light effect. Uh, change into a traffic light. And that's indeed what we do. And we have the ability to turn it on or off. But this is definitely one of the other tight, small themes that appear in the game is there's a lot of, uh, I'm trying to think, there's a lot of stuff in the game that hints towards a traffic light, a traffic accident, a car crash of some kind, such as, you know, the dead body there. Hi. Uh, the fact that we have a traffic light as an effect. So that... That's one thing. That, oh! Oh wow, okay. I didn't expect to be here. Also, it's uh, raining. I think if I go into... No, I can't stop it. Oh, well. oh, didn't mean to turn into traffic light. There we go. Let's explore this area a bit. As you can see, this is a... Oh, well, we've explored this area quite quickly. <laughs> this is a very basic world. There's a dude there. He looks like he's having fun. Hi! Uh, ring my bell? No, that does nothing. Traffic light. You can see the magic of the traffic light. I can stop characters from doing whatever they're doing. Comes very handy in certain situations later on. Uh, go back to the bike. So there's nothing else for us here. Okay. Well, let's go back here then. <sighs> yeah. This game is definitely a bizarre game. Uh, Osho, interesting to note. There's an effect you can get later on. Uh, that allows you to attract NPCs towards you. That dude does get attracted towards you. So that could either be a programming mistake or the fact that he is still not dead. Still not dead, he's just not dead. Also, I don't think we can actually escape from here. So let's wake up. And I'll at least make it stop snowing. Oh, let's save as well. Been a few minutes, and we got some more effects. Let's have a look around. Very bizarre background. Ah oh, well. Let us head back to the dream world to see how things are going. Um, once again, I might as well use this glitch to start us off. <laughs> uh, so, this one, next. Oh hey! We're in this world again. Of course we exited this door. So, I should have remembered that. But I didn't. Uh, for now, let's move on to the next door. So, even as you can see, even though there's loads of doors and whatnot, it's... Hi. You got this thing that's drooling. We can get a copy of it on our head, which is kind of weird. And get another one. It's like, uh, 
And now we've got two of the things on our head. And there's another one. It's pink. We like just keep stacking them. I don't think there's a reason to do so. Oh hey, it's the monkey thing in the background as well. Yeah, that's just a thing you can do here in this forest world. It's a bit bizarre, but you know, ah well. I don't think there's anything you can do with them though, other than have them all stack on you. I remember spending a long time here when I first played this, trying to trying out different combinations and all this stuff, thinking that it might lead to something. It never did. And I don't believe people have found anything out about them. So, for now, I'm just exploring, having a look around. Oh, hello, there's a frog here. I don't know if this frog would have given you the frog effect if you didn't have it already. But this is what we're after. A gate. You step through it and we're in a spiky place. And also we have one of these, uh, 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 I forgot their name now. I forgot everyone's name. Um, let's just talk to this guy. Get to the red maze as it gives me time to think. Uh, T. How the hell do you say this? Toin. Toin. In. Gen. Bird people. Basically, they're the enemies, for the lack of a better word, of this game. Uh, if they catch you, they teleport you to a single. Uh, to a small area that's 4x4 four four with nothing to do and no way to escape. Basically, they're me. And... Thankfully, I'm like, super speed! So I can avoid them easily. But... Oh, no, that's a dead end. Whoop. They, they will just chase you down and force you to leave the dream, essentially. Hmm. What am I going to do here? Oh, hello. Oh, okay. I feel like the uh, speed glitch is making this slightly harder to control. But it's not too bad. Hopefully it's, hopefully you guys are okay with it, but it just helps uh, speed things up slightly. Uh, there's a cupboard there in the middle of, well, nowhere. We can't get to it yet. Oh, okay. This is where traffic light helps a lot. Boop. Turn on the traffic light, turn off the traffic light, and these guys will stop chasing us. Because they'll stop in position, or I'll do it. And you can see, yeah, that, that one's crazy. So we can take our time and come in here, and okay. So what's going on here? Oh, oh, no, I want you. I. Aha! Midget! So we've got a new effect. Shrinking size. And look how adorable we are. And our effect is... We can clone ourselves. Up to eight ti uh, seven times. Hi. Okay, I was really happy because, uh, to find him so quickly. Because that, that was one of the things about this game I remember a lot as well. Um, getting to the candle world and then finding that guy is always a pain. Oh hey! It's one of these guys, as you can see. When their eyes are normal, they won't hurt you. Or do anything to you. Which is neat. 
Also, now, uh, let's de-bike and go to bed. Wow. Okay. So, just saying right now. The way that works is there's, I think, five or six beds that you can go into in the dream world. And each time you enter the dream world, you go to sleep, essentially. One of those beds is picked as the special bed, which will take you to this place. So we just happen to find the right bed. You can go up, which leads to somewhere else, but we want to head down. As we see all these wavy hands. Um... Just stretching out and whatnot. So we could go that way, but what we really want to do is go here. I think if you. You know how we ended up becoming a. Uh, a snow person? A snowman? If you became a snow person, then come here. I'm not entirely sure how you do that. Maybe you just needed to be in the right spot or whatever. Then you would actually melt. Which is something I wouldn't mind trying one of these days. But basically we have uh, this mouth thing. Which gives us poo hair. And if we have a look. Grow poo hair. Our hair now becomes a turd. And our special effect is we can leave flies about. Seems a bit weird. But the neat thing about them is we can use them as a breadcrumbs, essentially, if we wanted to. So there's some blood here for some reason. But more importantly, let's head out this way. Which takes us to the spaceship. And another uh, character of the game that many people know of. Which is... Uh, give me a moment to try and find how, how you say his name. Uh, uh, Sekom uh, Masada. Sekom Masada? Uh, who many people believe look at him as kind of like a teacher. Or Madotsuki's teacher. Like music teacher, I guess. So I wonder, can we play the flute? Would he do anything with the flute? Flute! No, he doesn't care about the flute. Um, let's see. Get rid of that. Can we sit down? No. Ah, oh, well. Looks like we're in space, so... Let's go and sleep in this bed. Nothing happened. Okay. Let's try again. So this is another one of the random events. Uh, I believe it's one in six. Um, and I can't remember if you need to leave the room each time. Or wait longer. But basically, there's an event that can happen here. So let me try exiting the room. We'll come back. Let's see if we can't get this effect to work. <laughs> For an effect that's meant to have like a 1 in 6 chance, I'm really not getting a, a good luck with it. Unless, of course, I need to leave the room in order to have it be in effect. So let's try doing that. Yeah, still not sure what is happening here. So for now, I'm just going to try leaving the room back and forth and waiting a bit. As we discuss 
stuff that's going on here. It must be really... I know this game now is old. Like, I think the first version came out in 2004. So, 14 years ago. And it must be crazy when this game came out, like, exploring this world and have no idea what's going on. And then finding this room and being confused about it and be like, oh, did you see that room? Talking to your friend about it who also plays the game. But when they went into the bed, something happened. It's just a weird... Um, it must be weird being part of the early discovery crew of this game. And discussing it with people and having different things happen. Which is kind of... It's a weird sensation, I must admit. Like with Uboa. It's like that's a 1 in 64 chance of happening. Like... I don't know. It just seems like an odd thing to happen. Oh, here we go. So, I guess for whatever reason, the lights didn't dim. That's why I wasn't seeing that the effect was taking place. But, as you can see, the alarm's going off. If we go here, let's do this freaking out a bit. Uh, zero. It sounds like the spaceship is crashing. Oh, and there we go. You can see it just in the distance there. Uh, crash. If we talk to him now, he sounds a bit sadder. Sorry, your spaceship crashed. But we made it, everyone. We made it to the promised land, which is... Mars. <laughs> There's also a mini effect here that we could have done if we had uh, a later effect. Um, There's a mini event, I should say. It, nothing really happens. Basically, you can get these weird UFOs to appear in the distance. And you can't really see them. But... Uh, it's it, it's very it's a very small event, so it's something that's the reason why I didn't wait until I get that effect to do. But anyways, as you can see, there's a tiny hole, a tiny hole, you say. So if we were tiny, we could fit. I'm gonna. Unmidget ourselves as we travel down inside Mars. With loads of industrial machines and stuff, and we have this dude who is just chilling out here. The guy inside of Mars. Give me a moment, and I'll check what his name is. <laughs> Would you know it? It's called... He's called Mars-san. Right, the naming for a lot of these characters is very literal indeed. And yeah, that's about it for Mars. Right, even playing the flute. Mars-san is just there. 
It's a weird place, Mars. But that was that event, which I'm glad we actually managed to get through. Even though I was confused a lot of the time. But still, progress. We have uh, 9 of 24 events, events, effects. And we can try going to the beds to try and get there again. I might give it a go if I get the effect another time, but we'll worry about that some other time. So let's hop on. Moved while seated. Oh yeah, this is another mini effect that you have. You can actually move around on your chair, which is kind of funny. And as you can see, also very slow. And you can obviously go anywhere with your chair. That was another thing I was uh, I tried doing at one point, seeing where could I go as the chair effect. Oh no. No, ah, doing this wrong. There we go. There we go. Bicycle. Whee! Oh, no. Hi, I on TV.